Hey everyone, welcome to the Wargame Parrot. Today's video is going to be all about regurgitation. It's something that people have asked questions about, so I thought it'd be worth doing a video dedicated to it. I'm joined by Pickles and Scampy. Don't know how good they're going to be, but we'll see how things go. In this video, I'm going to cover what regurgitation is, why par uh, parrots tend to do it, is it okay for them to do it, and then some prevention measures for the times it is not okay. Please note, as a usual disclaimer, if you're ever worried about your parrot's health, we highly recommend going to see an avian vet. That should always be your first call of business, not your last. So what actually is regurgitation? We're familiar with the process for humans, don't need to explain that. With birds it's very similar, although it tends to mostly come up from their crop and it's brought up, they bring up food from their crop. It's not something that's generally something to be worried about, although in some circumstances it can be. So why do parrots regurgitate? The most common reason is to feed young. They bring up the food to feed young. You may have seen this in some various nature documentaries. The next most common reason is through bonding or affection. So they're doing it to a flock mate or a close flock mate, a mate, to show affection and feed them. It's also done if the female or the male is sitting on a nest for long periods, different in different sort of species. It was also done in affection for humans. Now this isn't a circumstance you really want it uh, to happen very often, but that is another circumstance it can occur. Regurgitation can also occur as part of hormonal behaviour. When your parrot gets hormonal, they may regurgitate for toys, uh, different parts of the cage, for you, all sorts of different circumstances they may end up uh, regurgitating. Finally, parrots may regurgitate due to a medical issue. For example, a crop irritation is probably one of the most common reasons a parrot will regurgitate because their crop's irritated, they need to feel they need to bring it up and get rid of it. In these circumstances, again, a vet visit is always recommended. Now, what is not regurgitation? There are a couple of things that are commonly, oh, pickles are supposed to stand, let me pop it down there. <laughs> there are a couple of things that are commonly mistaken for regurgitation, which are not. The first one is obviously yawning. Parrots yawn in a very specific way, and it's not regurgitation. If nothing's coming up, it is not. The second thing that's most commonly misinterpreted as regurgitation is crop clearing. This is a repeated motion, looks much like yawning, but done over and over again, where no food is actually brought up. This is basically them moving food down from their crop or moving it around their crop because they're um, feeling a bit uncomfortable. The most commonly asked question we get with regards to regurgitation is, is it okay? Is there something wrong with my parrot? And the answer is yes or no. Uh, yes and no, because it depends on the circumstances. If your parrot's regurgitating for a flock mate and it's not constant, it's infrequent, it's not a problem. Basically, they're just showing affection and it's just their way of bonding. For example, pickles and scampi will regurgitate for each other. If they're doing it constantly, we try to discourage it. However, once in a while, it just reaffirms their bond together. Similarly, if your parrot occasionally regurgitates for you, and I'm talking about occasionally, very once in a while, while they're hormonal, that is not necessarily a problem. However, if it becomes constant and it is not infrequent, then it becomes an issue and it's something that needs to be rectified. Generally, you want to be discouraging your parrot from regurgitating for you because it is not something that is good for them. And it may be not even something good for you because they may start seeing you as their mate and that may affect the flock dynamic in your household or cause all sorts of other problems. Finally, if there's a medical issue, for example, a serious crop irritation or something else, you really do need to go and see a vet and it is not okay to allow it to continue. If they're constantly bringing up food for absolutely nothing, that is a good sign it may be a medical issue. So we talked about what it is, what circumstances it occurs, what it is not, and why it occurs. Now we're gonna talk about some preventative measures if you're concerned and you want to stop it happening. The most common reason that a parrot will regurgitate is they are feeling very hormonal. So we will talk about hormone management. I've got a hormone video which I'll leave a card for now. You can explore it through there. The next tip is related to hormone management but I thought it'd be, it deserved its own sort of subsection and that is keeping petting around the head and neck. Inappropriate petting is one of the most common reasons that a parrot may get hormonal or start regurgitating for you. So if you keep that petting nice and appropriate, you're going to reduce the risks of them seeing you as their mate and getting hormonal or a bit naughty. If your parrot's triggered by various toys in their cage or reflective surfaces, etc., then another way you can help prevent regurgitation is moving those toys around or removing those potentially triggering toys. This can curtail the issue and maybe, even if not that sort of circumstance, maybe reduce it a little bit. As I've mentioned repeatedly, if you feel it's a medical issue that is causing regurgitation, the most 
an appropriate response is going to get a vet checkup. Even if you're um, a little bit unsure, a vet checkup can help alleviate some stress for you and your parrot because you at least know they're okay and getting the right treatment. Finally, if your parrot has a very minor crop issue and it's not occurring very frequently, you can try apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is sort of like a very good cure-all and it can help ease crop irritations. Sophie has a very good video on apple cider vinegar, which I will leave a card for now. But again, while this is very good, it is no substitute for a vet visit. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and it maybe gave you some ideas about regurgitation, how to sort of stop it, why it happens. If you have any comments, please feel free to drop them down below. But in the meantime, from me, Pickles and Scampi, who's snacking, take care and have an awesome day.